<laughs> Y'all smell that? <laughs> smell like part six. What's up, Loop Troop? Loopy Fist here today, and we're gonna be doing part six of the Marvel Snap Alphabet Challenge. That's right, read it and weep one, two, three, four, five, six. If you guys have missed those, be sure to go ahead and click the link up at the top of the screen. You will be able to go back into the series and watch the other ones before you catch this one. If not, stick around for some awesome, tacular, riffing stuff. First off, I wanna say thanks to Silel. They left a comment last week that really made me happy. Uh, I worked really hard on this Odin thumbnail for the last video and they they said that it was worth subscribing liking and commenting alone without even watching the video so you know I would tell you guys to follow their lead because if you want to be featured in the next video that's the way you got to do it like comment and definitely be a subscriber because I'm only gonna pick subscribers also guys I just want to say if you guys are enjoying the shirt that I'm wearing I figure people might ask comments because this is a really cool shirt you can get this shirt from uh, your local target probably it was like 13 bucks not gonna lie pretty cheap but i'm gonna drop a little link down at the bottom if you guys are interested in that um i'm not sponsored by them or anything i wish but i'm just saying i ain't got no problem holding the drip from you guys anyways without further ado these are our three decks that we got we got the p deck we got the q deck and we got the r deck and before we even get started into the video go ahead and drop a comment on which deck you think is actually going to be the best one Odds are you're not gonna guess right anyways, so just go ahead and do that. All right, let's go ahead and get into the action. First game actually starts out really well. Um, I wasn't expecting any of this stuff to happen. We actually could end up getting Sinister London over on the right. And with the help of our neighbor, our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, we're actually able to lock down two lanes. And then we also drop down Professor X. But what we failed to, well, what I failed to think about was the fact that this guy was playing a movement deck. So even like triple lucky, I guess for us, because movement decks suck. But he actually ended up uh, moving Nightcrawler over to the lane with Dagger and Craven, which messed up my calculations. I didn't, and no one ever thinks about Nightcrawler, but Nightcrawler actually caused us to lose that lane by one point. Really sucked, but in the end, we still managed to take it, which is fantastic. So we actually win this first game and we get all four cubes out of it. Actually, we get eight cubes. So I know I asked you guys which deck was gonna be the best uh, to put a comment. This this deck is the best. Like they're, they're, the other ones, they're okay, but this one like just blew the, mother, uh, the other ones out of the water, so. Um, so no more guessing that, that this, this deck is the, the best one. Uh, P stands for probably pretty fucking awesome. There you go. All right, moving on. After switching over to the Q deck, we actually, <laughs> I don't know why, but these guys, both, they left both of these games. Two games in a row, pretty much. Uh, we get one cube off of each. Um, so we start off with two wins uh, back to back. Two cubes in the pot. We only need two more. So this deck not doing the best, I guess, because I would, you know, prefer to have a one game um, play with each of these decks. But in this case, one cube of off of retreats, two of them, I'm fine with that. So we go into the next game, and this one not super bad, but we do end up losing. Pretty much, it wasn't anything crazy. We just end up getting beat out by a pure discard deck, whereas we only have like two discards and. It, we ended up retreating. We didn't want to lose the eight cubes, and you know we just count our losses there. Nothing really special happened with the last game um, of the Q deck. Really, we just outplayed our opponent, managed to spread our power around the lanes, and for some reason we enticed the hell out the out of them with a really wet flooding area uh, with storm on the on the last turn. I don't know why they even decided to play over there. They could have easily won if they went for the mid, uh, but. I guess they just didn't have a way to spread out their points. They just played She-Hulk and lost. So we end up getting through the Q-Dex and we move on to the R's. Oh yes, the R's. Hmm. So with the R-Deck, things just weren't going very well at all. 
And I'm beginning to understand that people just like to see a good montage of me suffering. So, here you go. Enjoy. Okay, that actually kind of sucked. I'm not going to lie. So, I wasn't expecting... Oh, he got rid of the hammer. I wasn't expecting to play a rock over there. Although, I don't think it would have mattered. No, why don't I just leave? I do, I do think that I'm gonna lose this. Dude, I was super close to, to not being able to leave too. That's actually funny. Wow. Oh no, okay, fuck. There was nothing I could do. I wanted to see what was gonna happen. Wow. Lane, but not this lane. I guess I could use Omega. So after the terrible events that you just witnessed, we actually managed to get our first TQ game. And it was actually pretty funny. Uh, I didn't realize I wasn't rocking Omega Red in this deck when I had Omega Red. First of all, I'm just being dumb. I forgot the red starts with R. And we actually utilized Omega Red and Rescue to get a pretty good spread of points uh, going around on each lane. And actually managed to help us win this first game we came back after changing the deck a little bit. Um, I don't think we would have ever made it out of that slump if we didn't change the deck, first of all. But that was a great 2Q victory. And we actually managed to lose the next game, who would have thought. Um, but we get a win right after that. So I guess it was paying off changing the deck around. So for some reason, people just kept on leaving. I don't know why, but this guy leaves and now we're at three cubes. Um, I don't know why they keep leaving. I guess they see no hope when they're going up against Loopy Fist. Obviously, I am an S tier streamer with good streamer luck. So they get daunted when they fight me. So anyways, uh, moving on, we got three cubes. We just need one more cube to make it out of this deck. We've been playing this. This deck has been going on two times as long as the other ones. I'm just ready to get done be honest like i thought this was going to be the fastest challenge but i think this deck actually is the worst out of all of them so far um but of course we did have to alter a little bit so give or take wherever you want to do that with points anyways moving on to the to the final game i believe yeah so the final game we actually just managed to rogue somebody wong and they just left they, they, they were not having it. We got two cubes. That was enough to finish it. And we were finally able to finish the R deck. I need help. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. You guys already know the drill. Click my face if you wanna subscribe to the channel for more content, or if you're feeling antsy and you can't wait, go ahead and click the next video right here.